All right, so this is the uh, 20, uh, Roland VS2480 CD. As you can see, it's, it's all open there. These are the screws from the back. And I've, I've arranged them as they come out. So normally these are pretty much where they need to go in the backs that I remember because there's like at least two or three different sorts of screws. So what I did on this, on this one, I converted, I changed three things. So I removed the uh, ventilator and I put this Noctua in, which is a uh, Noctua NFA8. That's the latest one. You've got the version there. I used the uh, ultra low noise adapter, uh, which reduces the speed so it's one of these adapters I can't remember which one I think it's this one um, and it reduces the speed to 1100 revs per minute now the only difficulty with the fan as you can see that's the the cable there and there's the adapter that's the ultra and low noise adapter on there and then it goes all the way to here except I didn't have this connector I bought a reduction from three to two three pins to two because we got three here and I had a reduction but the two connector was too big so I ended up cutting these wires now note that if you want this to work yellow goes to to red if you've got yellow and black then yellow goes to red and black goes to blue otherwise the fan will not work and your fan needs to come on as soon as you plug the machine in there's no thermostat it's on all the time and you cannot turn it off on the 2480 as you can on other machines of the VS series so anyway I soldered these taped them up connected it and it works perfectly Second modification, I took out the CD burner, which was here, and I put a Panasonic UJ860 in there, which cost me 10 euros. Okay, so that's this thing there. And as you can maybe see in there, let's see if I can put the light on. Yeah. In there, we have a Samsung Evo. 860 250 gig with a little adapter from two to two from three and a half inch to two and a half inch and these are the original brackets here that were on the 80 gig hard drive which is which is here um, it's taking a while to focus there um, so this is the original drive, 80 gig. Damn, it's not focusing very well. Sorry about that. Um, so there you go. Now the machine is almost silent. Not quite, because this thing still makes a little bit of noise, but it's very, very low. And I think that if I place something behind the machine that does not restrict the airflow, but absorbs some of the um, noise coming out, then I think it will be really inaudible. Um, I tried other uh, I tried other SSDs. I tried this PNY 240 gigabyte did not work was not recognized and a Kingston 120 which was not recognized either. Um, also tried this drive which is um, not an SSD this is from a laptop um, and it was not recognized I don't know if it's because it needs maybe extra power on this which I do not have or not I do not know but it was not recognized um, but the uh, the the Samsung was recognized I also bought some DVD plus R's which are never recognized as the machine. I did not know that. And what I'm using at the moment, which does work, is 
simply these. These work perfectly well. Uh, they are recognized by the, the Panasonic DVD burner and they work very well. There you go. I hope this is useful to you in some way. Take care. Bye.